Heard the critter. We watched Critters today. This is day. I watched half of Critters today. Ran and fell asleep. I passed out. Critters. It's been a long couple of days. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Had nothing to do with the quality. Of no, the no, not at all. Not even a little bit. Um, I'm just a little overwhelmed with schoolwork at the moment. That makes you sleep. <laughs> I guess we stay up all night reading stuff. It does. Uh, this is what we were talking about yesterday. How. Um, we have some like high, we have horror movies from our childhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that you know always stuck with. Us. This is one of mine. This is one of the my the, one of the horror movies I grew up on. One of the first I've seen. I can't remember. I know I've never seen this one, and I always get critters and ghoulies mixed up. Yeah, it's not ghoulies. It's not. It's not <laughs> and I always I always confuse the two, but I may have seen like. Critters two maybe no, the no, only the, the only I turned to a big ball I don't know the only the only memory <laughs> I have of any critters and maybe this goes back to my whole booby tits thing <laughs> is of and again this could be ghoulies too me confusing I don't remember but someone coming and seeing like a Playboy laying on the ground hmm. and so because I guess what when I was thinking oh maybe it's this one because how the bounty hunters can transform into other. You know, into human shape. Yeah. They're, like, that's what happens is, like, someone comes down and they see a Playboy laying on the ground and a naked woman. And so that's what, like, the thing transforms into, like... That sounds familiar. I think that's... Yeah, I think that might be two. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. I might, yeah. It's not, so it's that's... Definitely not, it's definitely, it's definitely not that one, but... Because <laughs> I... Because I, I, it's all just this kind of crazy jumble, and that's, like, the only memory <laughs> I have. Because when I saw it, I was probably, like... 13, yeah. you know, and it was, like, like that's woo. the one thing that's going to stand out to me, yeah. is, like, sweet, things changing into naked women. Yeah, no, that, that does sound, sound familiar, and it's probably, if it's a Critters movie, it's probably two. Okay. Because three definitely doesn't have anything like that in there. And, is three the one that go to space? I, I have no Versus idea. four in space. Yeah. Three, three might be, like, I know, I know I've never seen something. more than that one. Yeah. So, and it definitely wasn't this one, because I would have remembered, like, some part of the beginning or something if I had seen this one before. Whichever one's four, I think it's... Or whichever one's in space, I think it's four. That's Leonardo DiCaprio's first movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but it's, you know, nothing just good as you remember it being when yeah. you were a kid, yeah. but I still have an affection and affinity for Critters, and I still like it. I still think it's a, a solid movie. I still think it's... A lot of fun. Yeah. Um, it right watching it in hindsight it reminds me of it does remind me of the old Amblin movies. You know, it, it's it, they're kind of ripping off, you know, Spielberg's, you know, E. T. and Close Encounters. Yeah. And, yeah. and just the, the general style of the Amblin movies. You have this, you know, kind of. I don't know, emotional score. Like, it's not John Williams. <laughs> no, but, but it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a sound alike. It's a very Americana yeah, feel to it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Heartland and. You know, the, the family's the, the core of the, at the store. Yeah. It's, you know, yeah. it's all about staying together. And, and it's like um, they might have their differences, but, you know. They all like each other. Yeah. Man. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. It's very Amblin y. It's yeah. very Spielberg y. Um, that's a new adjective. <laughs> Spielberg. It's, it's Spielberg y. No, it's Spiel- Alex Spielberg y. Um, Spielberger. Spiel, that sounds like a... Ooh, I, I, I get a Spielberger. <laughs> I go for a Spielberger right now. Um, so it has that going for it, and they kind of play that up, and that actually goes, goes to my favorite scene. I'll just say it now, I guess. Uh, it's a montage of the critters and the, like, tearing apart, apart the house. You're okay. Sleeping in this yes, I was. Uh, like, one's eating a fish out of the aquarium. There's, like, blood, like, yeah. pouring out of the water and stuff. Um, they're just doing all sorts of crazy stuff, and, but one of them is trying to talk to an E.T. doll, like it's another okay. alien, <laughs> trying to communicate, and it realizes it's, well, I don't think it realizes it's a doll, it's just not talking back to him, so he tears its head off and starts <laughs> to eat it. It's like a big, it's, it's kind of like a nod and also middle finger yeah. to, to E.T., which is kind of funny because, obviously, E.T.'s, <laughs> it's, it's the one that's at the top of the AFI's 
top 100 movies of all time yeah. last year, year. So it's kind of it's kind of silly that they would take a shot at this superior yeah. film, <laughs> but it's kind of it's kind of odd. It's like it's it's it's, it's that tip, I think I like it's, it's that typical 80s mentality of got to add edge to it. Yeah, it's the poochy thing. You got yeah. <laughs> and Scratchy's getting old, so you got to you got to put so, a little bit of funk into it. And so this this is that kind of moment in the movie. That's why I kind of like it. It was so. 80s, early 90s yeah. mentality. Yeah. Um, also, we talked about yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before, about the effective use of the word fuck that in was, movies. That was yesterday in the podcast. Oh, it was the, was that yeah, the podcast? Yeah, because I, oh, I was talking about X-Men. the podcast. Yeah, I was talking about X-Men. I was talking about X-Men, how Hugh Jackman's character does it. And this one, honestly, has another very yeah. effective one. <laughs> the critter yeah. in their language yells it out. Like, oh, oh, shit, he's got a gun. What a woman gets exploded. <laughs> One of them gets exploded um, by a shotgun. Um, so I like those two scenes a lot. I don't... Try to... Hey! <laughs> hey! I just put like a our critters, our right critters right. segment got sabotaged by gremlins. <laughs> Hobgoblins. <laughs> That's kind of my run. And I was actually watching Hobgoblins last night. Nice. MST 3 k Um... I have no idea what we're talking about before the before our uh, video cracked out on us. So I was talking about my favorite scene. We, we're talking we about the effective use of F word and PG thirteen movies. I think that was about it. I was, I, think that was, I was trying to like find other things to mention about this movie. Yeah. Uh, young Billy Zane. Young Billy Zane. Yeah. The ponytail. <laughs> Gets killed really early. <laughs> Which no one really kind of is freaked out by I mean they're freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they kind of leave him there. Like I don't remember anyone checking on him to see if he was alive. Not while I was awake. No, no. That's the only time. That's the only. Th- yeah. That's when he's dead. I guess. Okay. Is when, right. is well, well after. I mean, not the one even references him again. The, the sheriff in the movie is really bad. Not he's not like a like no underhanded, but really lazy. Yeah. Huh. Kind of just a bad job. Small town sheriff. Yeah, yeah, I guess. They're not. They're not equipped to handle. I don't know what a. Uh, what the Alderton, you know, police would do if we got invaded by aliens. <laughs> the police, the, yeah. the little, the, like the one officer <laughs> Um, I kind of liked, the humor still plays fairly well, yeah. I think. It's intentionally humorous. Um, they know, they, I think they knew exactly what kind of movie they were making. Yeah. And they yeah. don't try to play it off as serious and at any point. Um. The critter. I want a critter. I got like the first scene where you actually see him in full, full critter. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, went out here and grabbed my laptop and started to like shopping around for really? like, a critter. It was like a big critter or something. That's what a critter. They're awesome. That was actually like that was that was my favorite scene that I saw. What's that? Was the where he like throws the. Little firecracker, oh, he's and he like eats it, it yeah. and they just kind of like sit That's, there, yeah. and it like all it does is like go like <laughs> makes it like a little bit of little bit yeah. of smoke, <laughs> but it still like kills it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still, it's still one. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It was just I was I was I was expecting it to like explode, explode. or something, but it was yeah. just that little. Like, I think it's more effective. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. a lot funnier. Um, uh, if you haven't seen it, go see it. Uh, Siskel yeah. Niebert gave it two thumbs up. <laughs> I'll imagine I only reference that because every like DVD version you see has that, that at the very right? top of the, of, the, of the box. It's like, hey, we're a real movie. People liked it. <laughs> Remember us? <laughs> um, but tomorrow will be... Was anything you wanted to add? No, I apologize. Yeah, you want? yeah I apologize. That thing's really stupid. Yeah, it was, it was, it was weird to wake up and... See, because literally all I woke together, up backwards. and it was like the house coming back together and not knowing, like it's because okay, because like, here, here's here's I think why it's 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 a strange thing to to wake up to because <laughs> at the beginning they they for me it establishes the critters as this like terror that's that's coming to Earth, but then it also establishes bounty hunters that yeah. don't seem much better. <laughs> they they seem like kind of like they're like don't destroy don't yeah, yeah, yeah. and so it's kind of like like at that moment I'm thinking like you know are the critters maybe not that bad just misunderstood and like the bounty hunters <laughs> are the real evil and you the know, critters don't want to destroy the house though wasn't well the I figured yeah they, as the critters are flying away they zapped it with because uh, they threw a uh, 
he, he put his big firecracker in the oh, ship, okay. and like ex- it explodes. And before the before the ship explodes, they zap the house, and the house blows up. Okay. Actually, a really good blow up scene. I had to give him credit for that. I was like, this is a really good explosion. Uh, very like like thumpy, you had, like the bass on. You didn't yeah. actually feel it. I think. Um, but before the bounty hunters left, they gave the kid Brad like. Um, that little like little remote thing, yeah. remote hit, but which made no sense to me because there was no rapport. Like I can see, like maybe in one draft of the script, like there was more bounty hunter and kid, to, like okay, you know, one on one scenes and stuff to kind of like build a rapport. Because it, it, it seems like a movie war where the bounty hunters would be really misunderstood by everyone, but the kid would realize that okay, you know, yeah, they're, yeah. they're there for good. And the body hunters appreciate that, and at the end of the movie, they you know, give this thing. But there's really nothing. There's like there's like two or three shared scenes okay. with the body hunters and the kid, and the kid, and they don't even talk. Um, so it was kind of weird for the hit he gave him this little trinket. Yeah. But anyway, that's what he pushed, and okay. somehow it put the house, back, the house together. back together. But it didn't. It reversed like, the film. Yeah, but it didn't like re- reverse anything else. No, you can put the curtains back on too. Yeah, and put the cat in the mailbox. Um. So yeah, the ending is really dumb. Uh, but I like the rest of it. I like the rest of it. I think it's. I don't know. I, I'm not gonna call it a classic, but it's it's classic to me just because it's yeah. from my childhood. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we are watching. I have no idea what. I have no idea what day it is. Today, today is day eleven. It's okay. So tomorrow's day twelve. Because now we're you know, now we're back um, on schedule the days, finally. Yeah. Even though the internet is still wonky. Internet's jacked, but it's now it's jacked to a point where it's consistently like yeah. That. So <laughs> during the day it's on, but then nights it's off. Yeah. Um, so probably Thursday again we'll get messed up because I have to work all day. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. Um, at least Friday we go see it in theaters. That's yeah. That's, that's the thing. But tomorrow is <laughs> Vampire. 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 French vampire. No, Vampire, that is streaming on Netflix. That it's also on Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus. It's a criterion. You might be able to find that public domain, maybe. Too. Maybe. Yeah, it's pretty old. It's, it's an older. Old. I don't know if it's silent or not, but it would have been. I've never seen it, so I don't know. It would, it would have been right around the time, because this um, dryer, he's the guy that did Joan of Arc. Mm-hmm. And Ordet, that's the two movies I had to watch silent. for well, class. Joan of Arc Silent, Ordet is not, so okay. that's why I don't so know if it's... It's a toss-up whether it's silent or yeah. not. Um, so, you know, we'll have two, maybe two silent movies in the same week. <laughs> yeah, and this would have, I think, post-dated Nosferatu as well. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. Nosferatu is very early. early. Yeah, they had probably the first vampire movie. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, that, that definitely, I think, was... Um, but there you go, Vampire. I don't know by how much. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's, it gets fuzzy once you get past you know earlier than 1950 for me. Yeah. as far as <laughs> when, when things happened. Um, so come back tomorrow. We'll have uh, we'll have a review of Vampire. Vampire. Yeah. Watch out for the critters and Johnny Steel. Hi. Right. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> We're just gonna keep doing that. <laughs>